Ghostly greetings, YouTubers. This is Dawn, aka Amber Pope. I'm just giving you a video update of what I've been up to today. I've been working on the cauldron creeper, and I got him up and running, finally. I think he came out pretty good looking. I decided to keep the plastic skull because I actually thought it looked a little bit better than the styrofoam one. I did touch up his eyes and his nose to make him a little bit darker. So it's got more of an eerie look to him. I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to LED the eyes or not. I've seen everybody's been doing it. I don't know. I think I might just kind of light him up a little bit better so he's not, so he's a little bit more noticeable but not have the LEDs in the eyes. But I haven't really decided yet. Got the cauldron stirring. There's a couple of places I got to file down on my stick up here because it kind of catches and makes like this annoying squeak. So I figure I'll probably sand that sometime during the week. I ran a little piece of wire in between his fingers to keep it from, you know, getting lodged in between the small part of his hand so that way the stick doesn't get stuck and then it doesn't want to turn. And I did his bottom hands. I bent all the fingers with the heat gun. Came out pretty good. It didn't take that long to do it. That's my little motor. All I did was use a little reindeer motor. I think that, you know, it being a little bit on the slower side, I'm pretty happy with the movement I get from it. And since it's during the day, you can kind of get a better feel of the bones hanging out of the cheesecloth. Well, this is actually the creepy cloth from the dollar store. I love this stuff. It's a little bit bigger holes, and uh, you get a decent sized piece for a buck, so I figure it's not that bad. But, uh,. You can see his legs and his hips hanging out, his ribs and his spine kind of hanging out, his shoulder blades hanging out. I did use red zip ties and I'm kind of kicking myself in the ass for that because you can kind of see them during the day. But I'm going to do a night test with lights to see if they show up. If they do, then I'll uh, replace them all with black zip ties. That or just hit them with a quick coat of paint. But so far, that's it on the cauldron creeper. All I have left to do is to fit the fire pit around the cauldron and get that lit up. Next time I do that, the next vlog I do will probably be on that, which will probably be within the next couple of weeks once I get the lights and get everything tweaked out with that and get it you know, ready to go. I've also been working on the devil spider. Last year he uh, kind of got messed up because of the rain, so I'm redoing his eyes on his skull. I haven't mounted the head yet because I'm waiting for this to dry and as soon as this dries I'm going to give him a fresh coat of paint and I also revamped his body a little bit uh, the paper mache ball that I used for his abdomen didn't hold up too well in the rain so I spray foamed it, filled it full of newspaper and packed it with whatever I could and coated it in plastic garbage bags it's got a really really nice texture now I think it came out really good and he's waterproof which is a plus I also hit him with a little bit of neon uh, marking paint, it's like a neon green, and then I hit him back again with black paint, so he's kind of got a greenish hue on him. Came out really good. I'm pretty happy with the way he showed up, the way he turned out. I got a lot of details that showed up in him, which is, you know, makes me really happy. And I think he's almost done. All I got to do is just mount the head on him. That'll probably be in the next couple days after it gets painted. But that's it for today. Uh, once I get the cauldron creep done, I'll give you guys another vlog, and I will talk to you then.